So you're thinking about buying or selling real estate in the North Dallas, Texas area. And depending on where you're getting your news from, it's very confusing. The national news says the sky is falling. Some influencers on YouTube that don't even sell real estate or aren't local say that the market is crashing. And my gosh, the neighbors might have information for you as well. It's extremely important that you understand what's going on right now in the market in this local area. Hi, everyone. If we haven't met yet, I'm Troy Sage, your local. Frisco Realtor and Real Estate Insider. And in this video, I'm going to break down the local markets of Frisco, Prosper, Salina, McKinney, and some other little nuggets for you so you know exactly what's happening from city to city and basically from community to community. Those of you that know me or subscribe to my channel know that I'm a local active realtor selling homes all the time in this local area, and I get all of my information from the Multiple Listing Service and Eltos Research, who gets their information from the Multiple Listing Service. I'm not using Zillow and I'm not using Redfin or some type of algorithm to try to predict what's happening. You're getting the straight facts right here, right now, what's happening in the market today. What's going on in the Frisco, Texas real estate market? According to Eltos Research, the market action index is at a 59, which is considered a strong seller's market. But let's see why. Our median list price is currently $724, with the median price of new listings being $649.9. Price per square foot is $253, with average days on market of 79, median days on market 28. Price decreases 33% and price increases 4%. Relisted is only 14% and our inventory, this is a big one, is only 166 homes with the median rent of $3,100 a month. Now stay with me through this because I'm going to talk more about median rents and what can and can't be done right now in the market with regards to buyers and how you could possibly be saving money every month by buying a home and not renting a property. Now stay with me. Let's move on to the next city. Let's check out the Prosper real estate market. Currently, the market action index is at a 41, which still makes it a slight seller's advantage, but it's not a strong seller's market. Let me show you why. Median list price is $890,000 with the median price of new listings of $899,500. Price per square foot, $261 a square foot. Average days on market, 67, with median days on market being 56. 29% of the inventory has decreased their price, where 18% have increased their price. 6% of the listings that expired have relisted with an inventory of only 198 homes. Median rent is $3,300 a month. In knowing Prosper, Texas, it is expected that the price is going to be higher with lower inventory because there are more estate-style homes in that particular area, and that would also predicate higher rents. Let's take a look at the McKinney, Texas real estate market. Currently in McKinney, the market action index is a 47, a strong seller's market. Anytime we get over a 45, it becomes a strong seller's market. But let's check out the numbers and see why. Median list price is 624,290 with the median price of new listing 619,278. Price per square foot, $230 a square foot. Average days on market 66, median days on market 42. Price decrease 35%, price increase 6%. 7% have relisted with an inventory of 276 properties with median rent being $2,650 a month. As you can see from Frisco to Prosper to McKinney, the prices drop a little bit and there's more inventory. So if you're looking for a property, this is prime picking right now because of the inventory and the price is stabilizing. Let's check out the Salina, Texas real estate market. Currently, the market action index is at a 44. Again, a slight seller's advantage. And let's look at the numbers and see why. Median list price is 639 with the median price of new listings being 599,990. Price per square foot, $249. Average days on market, 75. Median days on market, 49. Price decreased 34%. Price increased 3%. 9% of the expired listings have relisted. Inventory is only 98 homes with the median rent $2,950. 
Salina is the path of progress in the greater Frisco area. So these numbers are to be expected. Understand there's not a lot of homes available, but there is new construction available that is not included in these numbers right now. And it might be something to consider if you want new construction in the greater Frisco area. Let's look at the Little Elm real estate market. Currently, the market action index is at a 42, which is a slight seller's market. Remember, we're below 45. Let's look at the numbers and see why this is. Median list price is $499,970. Median price of new listings is $466,950. Price per square foot, $207. Average days on market 81 with median days on market 42. Price decrease 42%, price increase 6%. 5% of the expired listings have relisted with inventory of 193 homes and medium rent $2,250. With Little Elm being just the other side of the 423, this is a great deal for anyone that wants to be really close to Frisco, Texas. If you're unsure what the 423 is, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions and map out these areas for you. I'm going to show you one more market area very close to Frisco. But before I get there, if you like the information you're receiving in this video, do me a favor, click the like button. That helps me an awful lot. And if you want to stay current with everything real estate related in the North Dallas, Texas area, click subscribe and the bell so you're alerted every time I upload another video. Let's keep moving on to this big surprise for you just outside of Frisco. Let's check out the Aubrey, Texas real estate market. Currently in Aubrey, Texas, the market action index is at a 42, which is a slight seller's advantage. Now let's look at the numbers a little bit deeper. Median list price is $450,000. Median price of new listings is $449,500. Price per square foot, $198, with average days on market being 82, median days on market being 60. Price decrease 44%, price increase 9%. Relisted is 11% of the expired listings with an inventory of 310 homes. Median rent is $2,450. As you're seeing, if you'd like to be in the Frisco, Texas area, prices are ranging from $450,000 up above $800,000. It depends on where you want to be. So when you listen to the national news or some of these people that aren't actually selling homes in the area, you may be misinformed. And the worst thing when spending money on real estate or making an investment is being ill-informed. If you'd like exact information of particular neighborhoods or particular communities, leave a comment below or reach out to me. I'll be happy to send you a custom report. Now let's talk a little bit about rentals and what you might be able to do if you're renting now to purchase a home. As you can see, rents have increased drastically in the past six months. And one thing about Texas is they do not have rent control. So when your lease is up, your landlord has the right to raise the rent to basically whatever they want. And if you don't want to stay and pay the rent, then they have you vacate and bring in another renter. So what I'd like you to do if you're thinking about buying is take a look at what you're paying in rent and compare it to what a mortgage payment might be. If you'd like to know more about how to calculate that, leave a comment below or you can visit my website or just shoot me an email and I'll send you to a mortgage calculator that will show you what your mortgage payments would be at today's rate. Also keep in mind, the 2-1 buy down program is extremely popular. Sellers are used to it now and buyers are using it a lot. The 2-1 buy down program, I have a video check out the link down below. It goes into great detail. It is not an adjustable rate mortgage that's going to go up and down during the life of your loan. It's actually locked in at a specific rate once it hits maturity of two years. Remember, buying and selling real estate is a huge investment. And for most people, it's the largest investment they'll make with a swipe of a pen. So please be informed before you buy or sell real estate. If you have any questions or you need anything, again, leave a comment or reach out to me direct. Until next time, my friends, make it a great day.